Hello friends, today we will like to understand about the capacitance boxes. We know this is electrolytic capacitor and the well known capacitors in laboratories are called as mica capacitors. Let us take a look at capacitance boxes. In these boxes, you will see various ranges 1 microfarad, 100 nanofarad, 10 nanofarad, 1 nanofarad. 100 picofarad and 10 picofarad. These are the various capacitance ranges and below you will see the connecting terminals. Red is positive, black is negative, green is ground. The values of the electrolytic capacitors are directly printed on the body of the capacitors. How to find out the values of mica capacitors? I have uploaded a separate video on this. Now let us understand how to use the capacitance boxes that is variable capacitances in our circuit rails. In this you will see there are black knobs. In the neighborhood of the knob there are ranges and there are three terminals. We will try to understand how to select the values in the capacitance boxes using two examples. In this first example, you will see that a single knob is on one and its corresponding range is one microfarad. All other knobs are on zero. So what is the total value of the selected capacitance? It will be, yes, 1 microfarad. Let us take another example. In this example, you will see that knob is also on 1. But the range of that knob is 10 nanofarad. All other knobs are on 0. So what is the total selected value? It is 1 multiplied by 10. That is, yes, 10 nanofarad. So, these are the few examples by using various combinations of these knobs we can select the desired value of the capacitance. I hope this video is useful for you in using capacitance boxes in your physics and electronics labs. Thank you.